Ninja, as he loves to call himself after his game, most of you know him as the last style bender. Some of you know him as Israel Adesanya. Give it up, guys. Give it up. For the one and only UFC middleweight champion, one of the best strikers in the world of martial arts. It is Israel Mobolaji. Temitayo, Oduanyo, Oluwa Femi, Owo Labi, Adesanya. Omo Naija to the Nigerians in diaspora, Nigerians in Nigeria, feel free to hype him, feel free to rejoice. I mean, our very own has done it again. But seriously, guys, we need to talk. And we're going to be doing a lot of that in this video. My name is Esther Ogala. If you are just joining the family, welcome. If you have not subscribed, please and please, please and please. Hit the subscribe button and subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much for the love so far. I mean, I'm super, super excited. First off, Nigerian sports administrators have a lot of answering to do here. What are the opportunities for Nigerians? I mean, talented Nigerians playing football, golfing, wrestling, boxing here in Nigeria. What are really their options? Abi, we should just watch talented players struggle their way out of this country and make names. And then, when they've made this name, we'll tag along, we'll go body. It's either their parents helped them migrate from this country. Should I use the word help? But some, yeah, yeah, they helped them. Help them migrate from this country. You know, one way or the other, they found their way out of this country where, of course, their talents are being appreciated. Likes like Israel Adesanya, Kamaru Usman, Tammy Abraham, Victor Oshime, and the others, there are plenty. To start with, Nigerians aren't even motivated to watch its league. That's the NPFL, the Nigerian Professional Football League. You won't find a typical Nigerian household watching any of these leagues but then of course you have Nigerians enjoying Premier League, uh, La Liga. Time back, uh, a lot of Nigerians in diaspora, Nigerians in Nigeria were lambasting Tammy Abraham and Bukayo Saka for accepting play for England's national team i mean let me just ask you one question let's be sincere to ourselves let's just call a spade a spade let's not call triangle pentagon here you are like dragging somebody up and down if you were to choose you rather live where you know your career is safe and your family safe to an extent is catered for just to play for your motherland and you that is inviting player to come and play what are the feasible plans or is it just come and play for your motherland that's all yes we know we know that it's our motherland we're not dragging do we have another motherland no but what are the plans really you don't expect players or sport men or sport women to leave a place where they know that their career life rather is secured like they know today that if any injury happens to them they'll get good health care if they know that they retire today they are sure that they have where to live just recently i saw that former super eagle player and coach that's samson siasia came out to say that the house is promised up till now those promises are not kept so when you tell players to come and play for their motherland 
make plans maybe just maybe they might be motivated to come and play for their mother land players welfare should not be played with should not be tampered with in any way you even start talking about salaries i mean we'll just from now till whenever till mama calls <laughs> if that's uh, if that word is allowed here yes we'll just till mama calls that's it these people played their heart out they are working it's work oh now they work where they do they ought to be paid they don't have to be to be to be striking to be shouting going through bodies just to get their salaries that they legitly worked for so we saw how a player nasara united player slumped and died on the field first aid box how far what's inside are you asking me ambulance is push and starts how 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 so this same thing occurred in 1989 we know the story of samuel okwaraji a football icon we know what happened to him and that's far back 1989 still repeating itself in 2020 the moment sports administrators start to think about talents and how to push these talents rather than thinking of their pockets it will be better because there are plenty of simmers on the streets nigerian streets that all they crave for all they need is just enabling environment access to clubs should not be based on who you know who sent you who brought you but should be based on the skill you have how willing you are and until we get to that point just until we get to that point we are still going to be tagging along with the nigerian sport men and sport women in diaspora so now does that mean that until you leave the shores of nigeria that's the only time you can make it as a nigerian athlete shouldn't be so thank you so much for sticking guys hope this video was able to ignite something in you regardless of your position and also it was fun i'm going to see you guys in my next video until then keep doing you Keep loving you and do not stop being amazing.